everybody. My name is Cara and I used to go to Playbox, oh, probably about one million years ago. Or maybe, maybe it wasn't that many. Maybe it was only 30 years ago or maybe it was 20. Oh, I can't remember. Lockdown causes time to go really, really funny. But all I know is I went to Playbox ages ago but my favourite thing we used to do at Playbox was to listen to all of the stories, but also to make up our own. And so today I am super excited to share with you one of my favourite stories, which is called Sky Rabbit. And you'll never guess who I'm on lockdown with. Sky Rabbit himself. And I think maybe lots of you have probably got many of Sky Rabbit's numerous cousins and brothers and sisters and aunties and uncles and relatives because Sky Rabbit has lots of relatives all over the country. There's lots of him. So if you've got your own Sky Rabbit, bring him along to listen to the story and we'll make a start. He's going to sit just here and listen along because it's all about him. So this is Sky Rabbit by Eileen McGovern and it's an Irish book. So you might not have read it before, but it's definitely a good one. So here we go. Here is Sky. He is a rabbit. He is indeed. He is Sky Rabbit. He's a wee rabbit with ginormous dreams. And his greatest wish is to fly. He dreams about it all of the time. So often he lands in trouble and is laughed at. Take your head out the cloud sky, he was told. But he didn't want to. He wanted his head in the clouds, actually in them. He belonged there. His name said it all. He was Sky Rabbit. But he had also been taught by the Alders that if you believe in your dreams strongly enough, they often came true. Dreams know no limits, he was told. This advice was always followed by a wink. Grown-up rabbits could be really Fruit Loop sometimes. He would not give up. All he needed was a plan, an ingenious, crafty, clever plan. Boink, zoink, doink, oink. Oh, not his best idea to date. Oh dear. Nothing had worked. Disheartened, he'd had enough and he stopped trying. Just like that, he gave up on his dream and he flung it out into the night. Exhausted, he fell asleep. Now, little did Sky know that what's meant to be is meant to be. And sometimes greater forces are at work. Just possibly we cannot escape our destiny. Just maybe dreams are written in the stars. And so a simple yet wondrous chain of events began. A tiny star heard the sound of the cast out dream and began to weep. Its deep sadness made it twink. It twinkled and it tinkled and it winked and it blinked until its grief was seen by a far off planet. The heavy hearted planet trembled at such a sight and sent its shudders outwards. 
where they were felt by a passing comet. The force angered the comet and it pushed onward faster and faster, blazing across the solar system, sending sparks flying this way and that way. Finally, its chaos was sensed by Great Grandmother Moon, the Sage of the Night. In her wisdom, she knew that one little rabbit's lost dream sent throughout the universe could cause much greater havoc than Sky or anyone could possibly have known, that its effects would be felt for atoms to come. The old moon was so saddened by this, for there was nothing more unbalancing to the very threads of the universe than that of an unrealized dream. She would not let this happen. And so she sent down to earth a beam of light, a moonbeam full of hope and magic of truth and flight. It landed on Sky as he slept, took hold of him and lifted him into the night. Was he dreaming? Was it true? Was Sky really flying? He couldn't believe it. Yes, yes he was. He felt the wind rush through his ears and he soared upwards higher and higher. He whooshed, swooshed and loopity looped. He twirled, burled and flew right around the world. He felt free and complete. How was this all possible? How could he, Sky Rabbit, fly? And there in front of him, written in the stars, was his answer. Believe in your dreams. And I do believe that that might be the end. Sky now knew he'd been silly to ever give up hope. That believing in something is sometimes all it takes to make your dreams come true. And of course, a little help from a star, a planet, a comet and a wise old moon does no harm either. The end. So that was the Sky Rabbit and Sky Rabbit and myself really, really thank you for listening and we really hope you enjoyed that story and we would love to see you again. Take care. Bye.